So again, uh, I'm Dr. Paul White uh, with Appreciation at Work, and I have Jasmine Liu visiting here from uh, Singapore, and we've been talking, and one of the interesting sort of parallels, I think, uh, that she shared that I think is similar in the United States, but maybe at a different intensity level, is the differences between generations of how they view appreciation. Here, you know, we feel like um, younger workers, sometimes millennials, want more or different types mm -hmm. and, and the older generations, some are part of it and some are not. But in Singapore, it sounds like it's even more different that the, the older generation and the, and the culture really, appreciation wasn't even part of it, whether that's at home and parenting, at the mm -hmm. workplace, but now it's sort of changing, right? Yes, that's right. I think it started from the family setting. You know, I was a generation X, I was born in the 70s. So our parenting style is actually tough love. You don't expect any praise or heart. But as long as you study hard, you'll be an obedient child and do well in your studies, your parents will not cane you or scold you. And that also relates back to the workplace where we are, we are actually under the leadership of our more uh, senior uh, leaders who are also in the education background whereby but it's, it's just saying that no news is good news mm. so if they don't call you uh, when they call you means that they actually ask you to do more or they actually have to reprimand you for certain mistakes so when they do call you in my generation it's actually good news means you're doing well and fine mm. we don't expect any praise in that way but I think the millennials, those born in, uh, they are now in your 20s and early 30s, they are brought up in a very different education system and parenting style where encouragement is given, praise, motivation, uh, even a heart from parents is something that they have been used to. So when they go to the workplace, there's nothing wrong because they expect that it was part of their reality at home and in school. I think the issue comes where in the workplace, they were surprised that why my supervisor don't give me attention, mm. why they never talk to me about how well am I doing, or discuss with me my career progress, or even allowed me to share my opinions and ideas, and even adopt my opinions and ideas. Mm -hmm. So I think that's very key things that this both generation, be it the Gen X, the millennials, and even the baby boomers, they have to revisit again uh, the why all of them are behaving differently. Mm -hmm. It's not about the, the understanding from their context because of education, parenting background, and how we were led in the past by our leaders do have an impact on the way appreciation seems to be. So Dr. Paul, you're yeah, right. I think it has been not our DNA in appreciation in the mm -hmm. workplace, more recognition. That means we recognize staff who are best and high performance. We give them promotion, better bonus and awards. But appreciation as a day-to-day culture and the language that leaders do to the employees is not really uh, that obvious yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. so again it's sort of interesting to hear sort of the parallels but also the the, the different emphases uh, and i think that gives us some perspective on not only understanding uh you know different cultures but also uh different perspectives within our own culture as far as generationally